Hi, my name is Mark Belage. I'm president of TorontoEntrepreneurs.ca. Thanks for watching. In this short video, I'm going to share with you some thoughts as to what you may want to be thinking about as a business owner as of today, Monday, December 14th, 2020. Well, here are some signs that you might be hiring or employing a toxic employee. These are uncooperative, unnecessarily competitive, or just downright difficult candidates or employees. Well, here are some signs that you might have a toxic employee. One, somebody who doesn't speak up at meetings or is, very, is being very closed in and unresponsive. The next one is showing a general negative attitude and lack of enthusiasm, especially in a team environment. They suddenly call in sick at critical times, like at a company event or before an important meeting. They blatantly refuse to carry out assigned tasks or obey reasonable orders. They gossip or spread malicious rumors or badmouth colleagues or management. They misbehave or are disrespectful with colleagues. They're not, they don't take responsibilities and blame others for their misdeeds or shortcomings. They're resistant to change and they push back on new initiatives or ideas that will involve additional work or more involvement on their end. And finally, they exhibit behavior contrary to company's values or what's expected of them. Do you have these kind of employees? You should deal with them because if you don't deal with them, it may impact other employees as well within your organization. Well, there's lots of government programs available for your company. Doesn't, this is especially true uh, to do with COVID uh, coverage, specifically the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy if you're not already using it. There's the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy Program, and there's the Canada Emergency Business Account as well. You want to make sure to speak with your accountant if you're not sure what these programs are, how they work, or how much you might be able to qualify for. Well, there's a science behind gratitude at work, and your employees take notice of, of this. Take, they take note. The act of being grateful can help employees focus on what matters. This is according to behavioral experts. There's three levels of gratitude at work. There's the episodic gratitude, and this comes from experience specific events. So for example, if you give somebody a gift card, they react to that with gratitude. There's the persistent gratitude, and this is uh, someone who receives consistent gratitude uh, saying they've done a good job. They tend to feel more uh, positive and then there's collective gratitude, individual or subjective experiences of gratitude. So these are shared, these are team oriented. So investing in a positive culture nurtures a very engaging culture and it can be very helpful for your organization as well. Well, every December LinkedIn asks their community to share the big ideas that they believe will define the year ahead. Well, here's a few that I thought are interesting that you might find interesting as well. Companies may let employees work from home two or more days a week with some opting for three days in the office, two days remote, and then two days off. So this will be a three, two, two work week. Next year's technology and innovation wish list will focus on products and services that make us feel better. Think of hand sanitizers, think of stations that provide social distancing and more. The pandemic will send more women to the C-suite. Amid the struggles, we're actually seeing more women moving into the top rank, top executive ranks during the pandemic. Well, millennials will remake investing in their own image, opting for more sustainable and ethical investments. And finally, while the pandemic has obviously devastated local economies in the world, in the world and has put millions of people out, out of work, it will set off an entrepreneurial resistance. Will grow, which will grow entrepreneurship around the world. Well, here are some year-end things that you might want to do, year-end checklist. Think about who is going to be available during the holidays. Is there adequate coverage? Update your passwords. Make sure to get your shareholder minutes and lawyers' records up to date. And do any tax planning as well for the year-end as well. Well, if you're hosting a party, a virtual party for your staff, well, holiday celebrations are obviously looking a little bit different this year. But here are some other options and ideas that uh, we are finding that other companies are using. Make a charitable contribution as a company in lieu of an office party. Write a thank you email to your staff for all their hard work this year. Write an email highlighting the company's accomplishments. 
Have everyone on your team wear an ugly holiday sweater to work one day. Take selfies wearing it and share it with pictures uh, online or of your team. Send a holiday card virtually, wishing your employees a safe and restful holiday. This will definitely warm their spirits as well. So here are some other ideas that have come up as well. Hire live entertainment. For example, we have some uh, contacts that are hiring comedians or magicians or uh, music, uh, magicians or musicians, for example. You can hold a cookie decorating competition. You can deliver a holiday meal to your staff. There's lots of great ideas out there. Well, I'd like to make mention of a number of events that torontoentrepreneurs.ca is presenting, including the Canadian Virtual Presidents Conference happening today, Monday, December 14th, 2020, from 3 o'clock p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. There's also the Canadian Virtual Sell Your Business Conference happening this Thursday, December 17th. If you're thinking about selling your business, this is a good time to visit. We'll have some experts talking about how to value your business, what you can expect during the sale process and more. And then finally, we have the Canadian Virtual Music Expo Holiday Edition. So if you're looking for some holiday music, come check it out. It's Saturday, December 19th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, this is the last video of the year for me. We put out a lot of content this year online because of the pandemic. I will be back again on Monday, January 4th, 2021. Best wishes to you and your family for the holidays and for a safe year, holiday time period and end of year and also into next year. Hopefully next year will be a bit better than where we were this year. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn if there's anything I can help you out with. And you can also check out all our Toronto Entrepreneur social media on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And you can also check out our Toronto Entrepreneurs Conference YouTube channel as well with some great videos and interviews with some amazing entrepreneurs and business owners from the year that just passed. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day and a great week, great holiday season. Stay safe.